Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to the Platinum Achievement Podcast, where each week we invite you to join a group of fun-loving gamers from around the world for the most action-packed podcast of all time. Welcome to the party. What's up, everybody? This is Antonio coming to you live from Chicago, your co-host with the most. So raise your glass for a toast because I am joined by my fellow co-hosts. I'm going to introduce them all at once. We have Brian Spignoli, Matt Keel, we have Chris Har, and we have Imran Lord Haji. Thank you very much for being here. We want to say thank you to all of our listeners. Our viewership continues to grow. Uh, episode one on uh, the first week got 239 views. Episode 2 at the time of this recording is two days old, and we got 105 views on that, and we got lots of subscriptions, so thank you. Please share the podcast with your friends, anybody that you know that's interested in gaming. Uh, we are really making this podcast for you, and again, you can uh, email us with show topics at podcastpa.email at gmail.com. So we're on a roll, people. Episode 3, I'm incredibly excited. we got a lot of great things happening. Again, we are going to be working on getting on iTunes for the audio-only version, but if you want to listen to an audio-only version now, you can go to pixelpine.com. That's the gaming website that Brian Spignoli uh, runs and uh, writes for, and you can go ahead and listen to the audio version there. That's pixelpine.com. Brian, let me just say that I'm incredibly impressed by your site. Uh, I love seeing your writing about all things gaming, and thank you very much for putting the podcast on there, sir. Yeah, very welcome. It's uh, made it as easy as possible, too. Pixelpine.com slash podcast, and uh, then you'll have a list of everything, every podcast we ever do, and a little synopsis of it right there with it. Very good. Thank you so much for that, Brian. Again, YouTube or Pixelpine.com, people. Really appreciate each and every one of you. All right, everybody, we are excited. We are doing an interview with one of the top trophy earners in the world. We're so excited to talk to Mike Simmons. Mike Simmons is PSN name Rough Dog 4. That's Rough, D A W G 4. You can also follow him at Twitter at Rough Dog 4. And uh, we're bringing Mike on because the Platinum Achievement Podcast, we get our name from some of the. Uh, completionists that we have in our Facebook group. Some of us kind of like to earn those uh, trophies, earn those achievements. So we were doing a search one day saying, you know what, it would be awesome if we uh, got one of the top trophy earners, one of the top uh, achievement earners on the show. And it just so happened that Mike is an, is an amazing guy and he agreed to be on the show. So Mike, why don't you say hello to the pod people? Hello, pod people. Now, Mike, um, I'm going to let you talk about yourself a little bit, but let's kind of gush about you a little bit. Uh, we're going to talk about how many uh, trophies you've actually earned. He's actually on the top of these uh, aggregate sites, and a lot of them actually do compensate for you know trying to like uh, rule out like just cheating and straight up things. So it's legit, and he's going to talk about how he does it, why he does it, all this stuff, so we're so excited to have him. It's super interesting. Brian has uh, interview skills, so why don't we have Brian uh, take it away? Uh, Mike, if you just want to start with your name, hometown, where you're from. Yeah, currently, uh, my name is Michael Simmons. I live in New Hampshire, and I'm married. I'm an accounting manager at a bank. I've been doing it for about nine years now. I'm trying to think, I grew up in Florida. That's where I was born and raised, and I moved up here when I was about 17, 18, and I've stayed ever since. You are one of the top trophy collectors in the world, uh, and you only play on PlayStation, correct? That's correct. I only play PlayStation. And talk about, you started from PlayStation 1 on and then continued throughout, and have you ever played any other consoles or anything like that, Nintendo, Xbox? I, the only other, uh, I've only played Nintendo, and I played Nintendo and Super Nintendo, but as soon as Sony PlayStation came out, I stuck with Sony only. I know a lot of people usually get different systems, but for some reason I've only just, I get one at a time and kind of just stick with it. Are you like a total fanboy of PlayStation? Yeah, you know, I'm not a fanboy of PlayStation, but I'm a huge role-playing game junkie, and when uh, Sony PlayStation was first introduced, Square Squaresoft left Nintendo to go to Sony, so I went where all the good RPGs went. <laughs> so you've played Final mm -hmm. Fantasy VII? Oh yeah, Final Fantasy, uh, that was... Uh, <laughs> 
It's like one of my favorite games. Amen, brother. Yeah, that's Remake. what I'm talking about. <laughs> Remake. How many games have you platinum? Yeah, with? as of right now, I'm ranked second in the world, uh, first in the United States, and I currently have 852 platinums. Because <laughs> everyone can like step back for a second and just understand 852 platinum that's completing the entire game with all of the trophies. Yes, that's great. Uh, that's just mind blowing to me. How many total? And, How many total trophies then? So yeah, I have 40,285 trophies. Uh, I've played 1,202 games, and only about 27 of them are not 100%. Oh, wow, that's just. <laughs> absolutely absurd <laughs> that you're able to, to manage that uh you talk about like uh, your strategy or, or how you set that up do you like have how, how much time do you dedicate each week to- uh, i think i mean i probably end up playing about three or four hours a day i used to play a lot more in the beginning but uh after you get married and you know you get more serious with the job you notice that everything starts to scale back a little <laughs> bit but uh, i usually could put in a few hours in the morning and a few hours at night I try to, uh, but the good thing is that everyone always thinks that I'm, you know, I do so much during the week, and I think it's just because I'm efficient with my time. Uh, due to my job of being an accounting manager, I'm just problem solving all day, so I try to problem solve games too as well, and try to think of the most efficient way I could try to do something. So, yeah. So you're pl- you said you um, you had mentioned you were like kind of planning out what you're gonna do before you even start the game, then right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just. It's one of those OCD things I have. I just have to try to know what exactly is my plan before the game. So I'll usually, it's, I'll even just get a notepad out sometimes and just kind of try to jot out what I want to do and where I want to get it. So it gives me a good roadmap of how I want to attack a game. Talk to us about your website and, and your other like grand strategy because a lot of us were kind of like, nobody can buy, how many games did you say? 12 over 1,200 and two, yeah. <laughs> so tell, tell us about that. So currently I run, I'm the owner of the website ps3imports.org and for most of the public, for what they could see, it we have one of the best trophy guides out for the Japanese visual novels, but behind the scenes that people can't see, it's a trading site and we have the top trophy hunters in all, of the, all over the world and we all trade games to each other, so it really helps save uh, us a lot of money, which is what I think gamers all really respect is... We all just want to save money and play as many games as possible. And that website again is ps the number three imports dot org. ps three imports dot org. And so you're basically enabling the top trophy earners uh, on on PlayStation with this site. Yes, that's correct. You know, once we get one of the top trophy hunters to come on, they never leave. <laughs> you know, people always uh, they always ask me because they try to run websites and. They're like, yeah, you, you know, none of your members ever leave. Well, of course they don't. You know, games always come out, so people always want to stay. So it's really cool. Right now, out of the top thirteen in the world, we have seven, of the top, uh, seven of the top trophy hunters in the world, and the top thirteen. So it's pretty cool. And uh, how many people do you have as part of your site? I think for active users, we probably have between fifty and a hundred. Nice. So we try to t- we try to stay as tight as possible since we are trading games that could be very high in value. So we try to maintain privacy as best we can. I know we're all going to join your secret club soon, though. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> we, are we are infiltrating the the Illuminati of the gaming world right now, people. I don't know if you're I don't know if you've realized this, but that that's amazing. It's just like a secret system. It's like this is how it all happens. Yeah. After uh, all of this, uh, we'll have to erase everybody's memories. So, <laughs> <laughs> can you talk about any of the games that you? think were probably the most difficult like because these games they have achievements that are in trophies that I, I feel like I could try them but it would take me literally days and days to to actually finish them uh, is there any specific games or specific achievements that you've just looked at and said this game is just almost too hard yeah there's a few games that I've played that I just have to walk away from because you just start to realize that I guess I'm just not that good to be able to complete. I was playing Capcom Arcade Cabinet, and it has some of the toughest games that I have ever played. It's a shame that game doesn't have a platinum, but there's a there's two games in there, Commando and Gunsmoke, and those games are really hard. So they are very hard to complete, and I still haven't been able to finish that as of today. Oh, huh, that's pretty crazy. When did the when did that come out? Do you know? I think that came out about three or four years ago. 
I think only mm -hmm. about 40 or 50 people in the world have gotten actually 100% on it, so. Whoa. <laughs> so, um, with all the games that you haven't completed, is that the main reason? Is because they were just, uh, because you did mention there were a few that you you haven't, that's why you're at 99% completion, uh, is that why? Uh, yeah, I think there's like 27 games, 26, 27 games I haven't completed. I'd say about half of them are just stuff that within like the first three or four months, like I earned a trophy or two on and I just never went back. It's just some of the games just didn't really, I just really didn't even care to play. So I just never really felt like it. But 27 I think I, out of 1,200. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I think there's like five or six games I have on my profile that's impossible to get 100% to as well. Uh, unfortunately, I got that bad bug in Burn Zombie Burn, mm, where they never they yeah. never released the DLC, so that was impossible. Uh, I nailed, yeah, I got nailed on my profile, and two trophies are impossible to get. Just, it's nice to get burned. And actually, I played Rambo just a little while ago, and the DLC got loaded on the account six months ago, and it's still not released. So, I have a bad feeling that's going to add to my incomplete list, so... <laughs> So there are games out there that are so bad and uninteresting that even a completionist like you would not go and play it. Oh, no, no. And that's why it's kind of good that I have those impossible trophies so I don't have a 100% profile that I need you to You don't protect, feel totally so. pressured. Yeah. yeah, so when something's just that bad, you're like, yeah, I'm just, I'm all set. I'm going to walk away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a question about online trophies. Because mm -hmm. some of them are insane. I'm not insane, but, you know, uh, let's say Dying Light, I platinum that trophy. I have to find four people mm -hmm. to play co-op for five quests. On your website, you have forums for that? Yeah, we actually have a forum dedicated just to boosting. And that's what's great with being so many people that are... Because we only have, like I said, around 50, maybe like 60 active users. But they're all so very high up on the leaderboard. So whenever you post games, they want to play it too. I mean, I don't even remember the last time that I boosted with somebody that was not a part of my website. I mean, we just did, I think, I don't know when I played it on my profile. I want to say it was like four or five months ago, but we played Crisis 3. And we were able to put together a boost of, I want to say like 12 or 14 people. And we were able to get most of that stuff done, so it was pretty cool. So you got that support system for the games that you have to rely on others for. So it's yes. not just randoms, right? Yeah, and you know, every once in a while you get randoms, but... I try my best to exclude it. Uh, unfortunately, I have to block about everything on my profile because every time I open it up, uh, I get a ton of messages and it usually crashes my system. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, the last time I had uh, open privacy, I had it open for two hours and I received 950 private messages. So, <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! What do you think about online trophies in general? Because some of them, if the game gets really old and the server shut down, and that's it, you cannot have the trophy anymore, or you yeah, can't find people. So. Yeah, that that part of it always sucks. Uh, I, it, you know, it's really hard because I really enjoy online trophies to the point where you get to play with other people, so it makes your experience more enjoyable. But then again, on the flip side, like you just said, then you know you get the bad part of it where. Sometimes servers shut down, and sometimes they shut down early, so then you're stuck with a game you can't even finish, and there's really nothing more frustrating than that. With some of these difficulties, uh, you know, they, they want to make them challenging, but are there just some, like, sadists out there? These these devs are just, like, putting something out there that, it, like, are is too extreme? What's the most extreme, like, trophy that you, you know, put out there, whether you completed it or not? Oh, that's a good question. God, I, you know, I... Trying to, I'm drawing a blank right now, but man, we, I remember at my friends a bunch of times about, and that's usually like the number one thing. Like, I cannot believe they're making this a requirement. It's just, uh, I think I remember playing Master Reboot, and you had to play the whole game in a different language. That was a trophy. Like, I think you had what? to play it. Yeah, you, had, you actually had to play it in like in, Swedish in or something language. like that, or it was ridiculous. It was the most absurd thing I have ever heard that you actually had to play this. You know, and you know what the hard part is, is that I just can't imagine some of these trophies, too, because it takes away from the enjoyment you have for the game. You know, and it's like I wouldn't want people to, you know, not being able to enjoy it. Like that Resident Evil game, I, I just uh, got the platinum to Resident Evil and you had to beat the whole game using a knife only. 
that was really fun. <laughs> the <laughs> original? Was it Resident yeah, the, Evil, yeah, the original? It, it was the original oh. game, so you had to beat that with a knife only, including That's the final possible? boss. That's possible? I didn't yes. even think that was yes, possible. Yes, that is possible, because I have gotten it, and let me tell you, it's not fun. <laughs> how many how many Man. attempts did you have to, like, how many deaths in that game before you... Uh, I think I probably died about 30 to 40 times, and I was even playing on an easy setting. It oh, just, you uh, can do it on easy, okay. Yeah, you can do it on easy, so it's not as bad. Oh, and then there's another fun one where you have to beat it where all the enemies are invisible. Yeah, that was what? fun one, too. Oh, yeah, you have to beat the game, <laughs> and the game the enemies are all invisible. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, they, they really thought, I'm surprised that they didn't have a way that you only had to play with one hand. If they could figure that out, they probably would have done it. <laughs> you close your yeah. eyes, hands tied behind your back. <laughs> it's like, yeah. hey, gamer, just <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> because there so, are on some unfair trophies. For example, when I try, I platinum the motor combat, there's there's this one really annoying trophy that I have to win ten strikes of ranked match. I was like, unless I'm a pro at this, I can't do this. Yeah, they are so good. The, the players who play in ranked, they are so good. Unless you master that game, it's 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 close to impossible. That's one of the games I avoid is fighting games. I I am just really bad at fighting games. You know, same <laughs> as you. I mean, you play these people that are just amazing at it, and they just they kick your ass. So <laughs> yeah, these people they, they, for fighting games especially. I, I know. You look at like some of the leaderboards or something, and you see these people dedicate like their entire life to being yeah. amazing at these games. And, oh yeah, and that's yeah. why you have like no contest against the same thing. The same <laughs> thing is like Call of Duty too. You know, some of these people that play these games are just absolutely amazing. So you do play uh, shooters, then you'll stay away from fighters, but you'll play shooters. Are there platinums oh. in shooters? I'm, I'm not even sure. I know, like you just mentioned one, Chris. Yeah, Call of Duty, uh, Medal of Honor. Those are pretty good. So calm. Yeah, I've played those. They're, yeah, shooters are a lot of fun. So. Have you have do you have the Catherine trophy platinum? Yes, I do. Oh my god. <laughs> Tell us oh about it. God. Tell us about it. Tell us about it. That's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that uh you guys sound like tower... little kids talking to your hero. Or I'm trying to think what was it that Tower of Babel? It's uh... <laughs> oh, no. oh my gosh. That game is just Oh, the arcade game. That game yeah, is the one with so the hard. And it's so weird as well, but yeah. What a good yeah, it's it really is. It's a great game. It really <laughs> is, okay. but some of the trophies in there are just really really challenging so, <laughs> so, so i think it's I, from what i remember i think it actually helps if you have someone else to play with like i think that's what really yeah. i think makes it a little bit easier so so mike um, how do you so touching on that how do you feel when a game is released with that really easy trophies like the order for instance do you feel a, a sense of relief or do you feel like feel like it uh, detracts from the trophy hunting so sort of? yeah it's it, it's kind of mixed because part of me likes to enjoy a challenge but the other flip side of it is is like what you said with the order is that sometimes you could just play a game and just enjoy it when you don't have to worry about trophies either. Mm. So it goes back and forth. So I mean, sometimes I notice that I don't get to enjoy a game fully because you're playing it a certain way. So, so Mike, you you don't have any problems with uh, taking advantage of glitches or workarounds? I think you told us uh, off the air that you kind of like use every resource imaginable, like you mentioned, like YouTube, and that being something that helps. Oh, of course. I will use any glitch that's out there in a game. The, the, you know, the, the way I see it is glitches go good and bad. I mean, I've played tons of games where, and I'm sure you guys have too, where you were supposed to get something and you didn't. And then you try to figure out how different variances that you could do to somehow get that trophy. So out of all the hours I have to spend getting bad trophies, I feel like I should be rewarded you know, every once in a while with good glitches too as well. So... And that's the thing, though, too, is that with everything out there that's available, it's amazing, you know, when you go to YouTube, the amount of information that you can get about any game, so especially when they're really popular. How many bad games you play just for trophies? Talk to us about Hannah Montana. <laughs> Hannah Montana, yes. Ga- uh, game <laughs> of the Year, right? <laughs> Hannah Montana and Corey in the house. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. Two I, you favorite know, there's, games. You know, you know you're a trophy hunter when you play Hannah Montana. I mean, there's really <laughs> not too much you could say about that. It's. Uh, I know when I was playing it, there was a trophy hunting competition going on at the time, and you try to play as many quick games as you can, so I was like, oh, I'm going to play that game, and... I tried my best to not let my wife catch me playing that game, so I tried to avoid that. And one time she came home early, so I had to run over to the PS3 and turn it off. And it's really awkward. She's kind of looking at me like, yeah, I'm not even going to ask what that was about. So <laughs> and I was like, good. That's, I don't want you to ask any questions. Um, <laughs> uh, let me ask you about like work-life game balance. Notice how like you have like a third tier in there. Your wife lets you play. You said that you play two to three hours a day. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I, I'd say four to five. Like it's uh, yeah, yeah, something like that. 
Yeah. Do you, how, 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 how much? Wait, wait, Chris, you'll love this question. How how much do you sleep? Uh, six hours. Wow. Well, that's, that's adequate. Okay. That's, yeah, that's it's more than adequate. Chris sleeps. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what it is? Is my my wife? She literally sleeps. I mean, I swear to God, she like 12 or 14 hours so it's oh, funny i actually yes so i actually don't play video games with uh when my wife is up like we'll just watch tv i knew we'll it you are the same I as knew me it. I knew you know, it. you know i really you know so she goes to bed around eight o'clock at night so i'll be playing games like say eight o'clock at night to midnight or something like that and i usually get up an hour early for work so i usually can put in an hour or two in the morning too as well so, I mean, so it's she, really the only times i play so. she has a sleeping Jeez. deficiency and you milk it Yes, oh, 100%. So, <laughs> hey, as long as, I'm going to be able to keep this up as long as we don't have kids. Uh, if we ever have kids, I am sure that narrative is going to change really, really Not, you fast. Need to, you need to start the next generation of achievement or trophy hunting <laughs> yeah. and yeah. teach your children these are the ways. <laughs> yeah, co-op partner for life. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Mike, 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 do you play Vita as well? Oh, yes. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I, I was going to say, because obviously with the trophy. Yeah, well, it's funny because uh, a lot of people have said, too, that you know, I work a nine to five job, you know, standard hours, you know, eight, eight o'clock in the morning to five o'clock at night. And people will be like, yeah, I see you earning Vita platinums, you know, during your work. And I'm like, yeah, well, it's because I'm playing it at work. I, I'm in the office. So I'm That's able to. Amazing. You play games at work. Nice. Yeah. You are yeah, my yeah. official hero. God, we should we should create a plaque for you and like put it up everywhere on the walls. Uh, it? yeah, I wouldn't go that far because I'd prefer them not knowing like what it is that I'm doing. Oh, never so, mind. Well, a lot a lot of the games that I'm playing though too is that it's those visual novel games where you just have to pick choices and stuff like that. So something yeah. that as I just have to make sure I'm private with it. But being in an office, it's really really easy to do. And I mean, yeah. I, actually, I live I have little contact with most people. That's <laughs> the normal day, so it's really easy to do that. Yeah, so we finished Walking Dead three times. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, <laughs> it was cool the second time. Wait, spoiler alert, things. I didn't finish it. Okay, well, no, it's just cool the <laughs> second time you play it because you could pick choices, you know, a different way. So you can kind of have, you know, idea. But once you play it the third time, you're like, yeah, I really don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play it all at one shot, or is it like one, and then you know, a couple weeks later you played it again? Or something? Yeah, mine were spread apart. Uh, I know others that did it back to back, and honestly, I really don't even know how they did that. I mean, I would have, uh, yeah, I would have probably slit my wrist trying to think so, about well, something. Well, you annoyed that season two didn't have a platinum. Uh, you, I don't think I don't think it did. I was like, I was like, what's going but on? But were now? you annoyed about that? Oh. Uh, it was a little annoying after they did it with the first one, but I mean, I'm fine with it. It's, you know, it's, it, you know, it, it stinks when things don't have platinums because then you feel like you're spending the same amount of time and not getting the same amount of points. So, are there any games that you've hundred percented that you think should have a platinum? Yes, uh, because I can think of like three right off the bat. Well, Capcom Arcade Cabinet that I brought up that should that's like one of the hardest games I've ever played. That's a shame that doesn't have a platinum. Just so mm -hmm. people like only thirty or forty people in the world have beaten that game one hundred percent. That that should have a platinum. Uh, why? What were the ones that you? Uh... Um, I well, Spelunky. I think that game deserves a platinum because some of those trophies are really really hard to get. Mm -hmm. um, the other one is Pixel Junk Eden. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, I played that one. Pixel Junk Eden. It's a fantastic game. One of my favorite, one of my favorite PSN games. And then I actually think. Well, actually, I could probably name a couple others. I think Shatter deserves a platinum. I just uh, I started that game five or six years ago, and I think I six months ago I finally beat that bus that boss rush trophy. Like holy crap, that was yeah. I know that's a that's a yeah. really hard one. That yeah, was that a, that that one has been the bane of my existence. I can't I can't I can't do it. Yeah, um, stealth. Uh, stealth was one that I played that I felt like should have a platinum. That was a very hard one. Uh, stealth was a good one. And then um, I actually thought the original Super Stardust HD should have had a platinum with the way you had to. I think there was a gold trophy for going through the entire game and getting. I think you had to go through it twice. I don't remember. It's been so long since I 100 percented that game, but it deserves a platinum. So I think I have the record for Super Stardust HD, the record for the longest time to 100 percent it. I am currently at six. <laughs> I just finished it uh, two months ago. I got that. The I think it was it was the one you had to hit the ten nukes. Yep, or something like that. And that yep. was the, I could not get that trophy, and I just got it, and my completion time is six years and six months <laughs> to, to 100% wow. that game. So it was nice. It was, that was a really ecstatic feeling to, 
take you know to kind of like go back to it and it's like you know what i'm gonna finish this game and to finally finish it like, that's uh but yeah there was a there i remember that. i think there's like 45 seconds for right to not take any damage but you couldn't shoot it was just there was a lot of dumb ones that yeah. were in there so <laughs> well you know i i feel good because it took me way less than six years so. yeah <laughs> i think i think everybody's got me beat on that one <laughs> mm. 